to their career. The perfect combination, boy. Him, Paul, legends in the South. This is sports fans' only home for the hottest sports show around. These guys are on fire. You're now listening to KJ and Sean Mack. I'm Sean Mack, back with a look on this day in sports history, October 22nd. In 1933, Italian boxer Primo Carnera beat Spanish challenger Paulino Itzcuzden on points in Rome, Italy to retain the IBU heavyweight title. Look at, look at that picture. You couldn't tell me he couldn't like run with Pluto on Popeyes. I love old school pictures. Ugh, but I digress. In 1933, NBC becomes the first network to televise a pro football game. The Brooklyn Dodgers beat the Philadelphia Eagles 23-14 at Brooklyn Ebbets Field. Throwback, probably had no rules, wasn't making money, getting thrashed. Mm, it was hard to be an athlete back then, boy. Couldn't even support your family, doing what you love. It was a side job, but I digress. Moving on. In 1950, the LA Rams beat the Baltimore Colts 70 to 27. Yes, 70 to 27. Fashion thrashing, thrashing ration. Uh, I'm gonna beat you, leave you on side of the curb, and tell your mother to come pick you up. You might have some scars. That's what happened to them. Moving on. In 1966, ice hockey legend Bobby Orr scores his first career goal versus the Montreal Canadiens. Bobby ended his career with 270 goals. It's Bobby Orr. It's a Hall of Famer. It's a legend. Moving on. In 1967, Joe DiMaggio is hired as an executive VP of the Oakland A's. Never, I thought Joe just Joe DiMaggio actually just played and that was it. He quit and went to date people. I didn't know he was in the offices. He was in a couple of uh, the front office. Never knew that. I thought he was just a player. But moving on. Rest in peace. Shots out to Joe DiMaggio. In 1968, American swimmers sweep the medals in the women's 200 meter freestyle at the Mexico City Olympics. Debbie Meyer took home the goal with the Olympic record time of 2 minutes and 10 seconds ahead of her teammates, Jane Henney and Jane Barkman. Shots out to the ladies. Love them all. Raise the roof. Not a tiny one, but a big one. Shouts out to the ladies. Love you all. In 1974, the New York Yankees, New York Yankee outfielder Bobby Mercer was traded to San Francisco for outfielder Bobby Bonds, the father of Barry. Gotta love that. I, I, I just love, I love the Bonds. I, I always have and always will. Don't care what the media say. Love the Barry, Bobby Bonds. Love Barry Bonds. Bobby went through a lot and that's why his son didn't really like the media. But moving on, I digress. In 1976, Rick Barry of the San Francisco Warriors began the longest NBA free throw streak of 60 in a row. I could do a whole segment about people missing free throws. I feel if you miss a free throw in a big game, you should be Doc Pay because they're free and all you have to do is practice to get them don't understand why people missed him Shaquille O'Neal would probably be the best NBA player of all times if he hit 85% of his free throws yeah. in 1997 the coldest World Series game took place in Ohio with a temperature of 38 degrees at start time the Cleveland Indians beat the Florida Marlins 10 to 3 but as we all know the Marlins went on to win that series and the championship and Cleveland still hasn't won anything. Not in baseball. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. And finally, in 1999, NHL goaltender Grant Fuhrer wins his 400 career game versus the Florida Panthers. And that will be your NHL fix for the year from sports fans only. You're welcome. And as always, before I bounce on out of here, get on out of here, jet on out of here, any of those 90s terms that we use to get on out of here. 
I would like to wish a happy birthday to Ichiro Suzuki. He turns 48 today. And happy birthday to Brad Stevens. He turned 44 today. So to Ichiro, we loved your career. I said it before, upstanding gentleman. Not a bad word ever uttered or muttered about you. Such class, such aura, and you were great on the field. One of the best to me top 10 hitters of all time. So happy birthday. And to Brad Stevens, loved you when you were in college. You went to Boston, didn't do so well. So Danny Ainge actually made you the vice president of operations after not winning anything. Not sure why, but to me, that's the good old boy network taking this toll on the sports. That's why we have the Rooney rule in the NFL now. But I digress, as I always say. So happy birthday to Ichiro Suzuki. Happy birthday to Brad Stevens. Believe it or not, I do like you. I know listening to that, you probably don't think I do. But I do, and I wish you nothing but luck. The Boston Celtics were my team growing up, and I loved them. So somewhere deep inside, I still have a little love for you. So happy birthday, Ichiro. Happy birthday, Brad Stevens. All right, I've been Sean Mack, back with a look on this day in sports history, October 22nd. And this is Sports Fans Own.